Have you ever done a photo shoot for one of your clients, a wedding, or even maybe yourself, and gotten back to your computer and saw this? In this video, I'm gonna teach you one key tip that's gonna save you a lot of time when it comes to editing photos. If you've never heard this word before, it's C-U-L-L. -L -L. And what that word means is that you are selecting from a large quantity of something. So if you take a thousand pictures for one photo shoot, you are gonna quote unquote cull or culling the images down to your sort of picks or your selects that are gonna be the final images that you're going to edit to the full extent. Not every photographer is perfect, so a thousand out of a thousand images aren't going to be 100% edited, at least not in my opinion they're not. If you wanna spend the time and do that, by all means, but this tip is to help filter down those thousand pictures to maybe 100 or 200 photos, maybe even less. You've imported your photos, they're already into Lightroom Classic, that's the program I'm gonna be using today. And the tip is you're going to flag and unflag and reject photos. All you're gonna do is keep your caps lock button activated, turned on, leave it on the entire time or else this tip won't really work. We're gonna transition over to Lightroom Classic right now and I'm gonna show you exactly what the tip looks like. All you are wanting to do is you're gonna be in your library tab in Lightroom and you're gonna see all your photos you may have imported already. You're going to want to have the caps lock button on and keep it on the entire time. And what you're doing is you're going from photo to photo and you're pressing either two buttons. You're pressing X for rejecting photos, photos that you're not going to edit, or you're gonna press P for photos that you will edit. So a lot of photographers will take a thousand photos and maybe press P on 500 photos and then they'll go and start from the beginning again and do the same process one more time to get it back down to maybe 60, 100 photos, 200 photos maybe. But it's all on personal preference of what you want to do. The reason you want to be in the library folder instead of the develop is because if you're in this develop area, it's going to try and pull up a full res resolution sized image on your computer and it's going to tax your computer like crazy. So if you have a slower machine, then it's not going to be good because it's going to make your computer really laggy. So you stay in this library and you can be even here, it's just gonna do a less resolution image very quickly and it's gonna happen really fast. So if I'm gonna show you in real time what it looks like, you'll go through your images, maybe X to reject or P to pick. So X, X, X rejecting, I like that one, let's pick that one pick this one we'll reject maybe a couple and maybe pick this one pick pick it's all just doing that for all of your photos it's just that easy along the bottom there some of your photos may have gotten grayed out and that's because that's the ones that got rejected and then you'll see a little flag at the bottom on the ones that you picked there's a little flag on the grayed ones too they're just a black flag and then you have the white flag on the ones you picked. You can do it from this screen too, the more of a gallery type view and just doing the same thing of pick, 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 X, 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 pick, 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 and it will just go through all your images. The next step you want to do is go down to the bottom right, you'll see your filters and you can have it on no filter for right now or you can scroll down and you'll get to your flagged and it'll show flagged photos are the ones being shown or if you want to see your flagged and rejected or just rejected so if you wanted to delete it from Lightroom of all the photos you don't want or you go to the flagged ones of the photos that you want to edit 
and it makes it really quick and simple for you to come here and start editing those photos. If this video was helpful, please let me know down below. Make sure you subscribe for more videos coming soon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.